another day of viewings ahead. So the first one we're going to um, is local, in our local, just off our local high street. Um, it's not an attractive building, so we're already thinking it's probably a no, and this one needs a lot of work. The inside is, um, what do I say, rustic? I know some people say it's charming, but yeah, it will need complete overhaul. It's all funny coloured walls. Um, yeah, it's, it's one that's going to, if you're up for a, a bit of a challenge, this is the one you probably go for, but I don't know if we are, but we'll see soon. So, the first one. I wanted to see because I thought that it had good square footage and location-wise pretty good in terms of shops and stuff. Mum instantly and Dad really weren't up for this one at all. They didn't want me to pick this one. And it was scruffy. There was rubbish everywhere. The overlook wasn't particularly nice. I think it overlooked the bins. Um, every single room needed um, to be completely redone. Um, what else? Didn't have a garage. Um, but positives for me, I could see that the layout was really nice actually in terms of the flow of the flat. I thought for someone that could be a really nice uh, sort of layout. The master bedroom was really good size. I really liked the shape of the lounge and it had a fireplace. Um, again, location was good. And another good thing it was the uh, estate agent was saying that the vendor is very realistic about, you know, how much work needs being done and would be very open to, you know, much lower offers. So it's always handy when you're working with or when the person that's selling is realistic about the strength of the property and, you know, how much work the buyer might need to do on it. So that was good. But yeah, it's not on the maybe list even, but it's all good experience. And then after that, I got a text from my sister-in-law, who's an architect, because I'd sent her the one that me and Si have really fallen hard for, the one that we were checking to see at night time what it was like last night. Um, and unfortunately, she gave us quite a few reasons why it's a bit of a no-goer, which I'm feeling a little bit heartbroken, to be honest, because I, I think I'd started moving me and Si in there and visualising our life there. Like, I imagine us walking to our favourite pub in the summer and the friends that would be nearby and mooching into our high street, which was literally on the doorstep, and lots of really positive things. And I loved the lounge there and the bedrooms, but unfortunately... It's just boring stuff to do with um, the fact that it's electric and not gas, um, that it would always be quite a cold house. It's very inefficient, even though it's insulated, it's never going to be um, very efficient. Um, because it's a flat, you've got to consider um, there might be maintenance costs that are going to be quite big because some of it does look a bit run down and you might be stung by that cost unexpectedly. And uh, lots of issues to do with installing a bath. It might not even be possible. So, yeah, it's now gone from being my absolute favourite to something we might not even be able to consider, which is really sad. Anyway, on to another viewing now in a different town. Um, this one's a three-bed maisonette, but I think the issue with this one is going to be tiny, tiny lounge, no garage, and there's no windows in two of the bedrooms um, so it might be very very dingy but we'll see I'm trying to stay positive good morning so today should be fun it's a friday which means i si has the day off work so i put in three more viewings um, and i get to do them with him which is which is fun because obviously he's going to be living there as well so it'd be good if he liked the place um so the first one is one of the um, flats we drove to on the very first day that we decided we were going to take the plunge and we just went to kind of just scout out locations and initially we thought it was a little bit out of the way to be honest and it didn't have the nicest feel like you do worry that it'd be one of those areas where people would be hanging about at night um but the reason we still wanted to check it out and why we're seeing it today is it's by far the biggest in terms of square footage um it it even says on the the floor plan that you know there's scope to build a four, third bedroom there if you wanted to because there's so much space but i still don't know if it would be good enough to sway us to um sacrifice on the area i guess 
and the second one um, is right by a Marks and Spencers and Tesco's which would be super handy it's quite small in square footage but like I said I don't care if it's small if it's well laid out and has kind of a good flow to it and that's a ground floor um, flat I think it is yeah and then the third one is a house which um, it's not it's in a, a town a little bit further away from where we live now um, it would need a lot of work it looks very dated and there's like a lot of things we would tear down within it the kitchen we joke but it looks a little bit like um, the industrial zone in um, the crystal maze um, so Sai instantly before we've gone is a little bit anti that one but I think if you just ignore all the cosmetic decoration stuff I think it's got a lot of potential and obviously it's really nice to have a front door and have your own house and not live in a block so I think it's worth a go I, th I definitely think it's worth a look and I'm secretly hoping it will pleasantly surprise him because it also has a garden which means we could put a shed in the garden that could house all of our crap so that was a big bonus anyway so we'll see how we get on today it's quite awkward because I've had calls from a lot of the agents today just for my feedback on the viewings I've had yesterday and the day before and the people that have called are of course from the ones that were a little bit ropey that have definitely been vetoed already um but it, you feel guilty in a way saying mm, no i don't like it or it's never gonna happen um so i'm i would say i'm letting them down gently but i haven't let them down yet i i keep just saying it's still in the mix but i think i've just got to send an email and go no it's not happening <laughs> um because i think i'd rather live here than move into one of the ones we've seen so um yeah, I can't remember when I last spoke to you, but we went to one this morning that we knew the location wasn't ideal and the space was incredible, but we think the location has to be a deal breaker, even though we, if we did it up, it would be the coolest flat of all time because the space is so vast. Oh, why couldn't we move it somewhere else? Anyway, so that's probably a no, sadly. Went to a second flat, which is by a big Tesco's and Marks and Spencer's, which is handy. And it was a lovely little, it was actually amazing it. It was lovely. It had um, heated flooring, which is a nice bonus. The lounge was actually a lot roomier than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's quite a small space overall, but it just had a really nice feel to it. It was bright. It was just nice. Just had, yeah, just liked it. Um, and the bonus of that one is it had a garage, which is good. But the third one, I've, I've lost myself again. I'm a little bit in love with it. Um, it's like, if I showed you, you'd be like, uh, why? <laughs> but it's a house, first of all. Uh, a, a semi, is it semi? No, it's like a terraced house. Um, it's got a garden. Uh, it doesn't have a garage, but because we've got a garden, we could put a shed there. Um, it's got stairs, and I don't know why I'm suddenly excited about stairs. Um, the kitchen's quite roomy, it has room for a little breakfast table. Um, I don't know, I can just, you know when you can just picture yourself somewhere? We need to do a lot of like taking some wood panelling down, we need to move the boiler because it's like, right in the middle of the second bedroom, which is weird. Um, yeah, a lot of cosmetic stuff, the bedroom is purple, and that's probably not the vibe I'm going for. Um, but yeah, I feel really excited about it. Just the thought that I could have a house. I never thought I could have a house. So yeah, I'm buzzing, but I've got to calm down because we know what happened last time. I got ahead of myself and then felt heartbroken. So I don't really want to be heartbroken twice in a week if I can avoid it. Um, been there, done that. Um, so yeah, trying to stay calm, but inside I'm literally moving myself in. I'm picking the paint from uh, home base. Yeah. Anyway, fun times though, it's been fun. It's nice when you know there's some good stuff out there. Good morning. So I've woken up with a sore throat and a cough today, so not feeling my best, but today is a big day in this journey because we've got, well, I've booked in seven viewings for today. It's a Saturday, so Sai's gonna be with me. Um, so the first three are kind of, in the town that we live in already so not far away and in familiar um locations i guess so if any of these were good it would be lovely because 
it wouldn't be much of a wrench because we'd be just around the corner from this home that I've lived in my whole life. But whether that's a good or bad thing, I don't know. But either way, it's quite fun to see ones local to us. Um, I think we've mentally vetoed one of them, but it's just good to see because you just learn more about what you do and don't want. Um, the first one was actually one of the houses, um, the block of flats that was in that location, location, location episode that we watched before that I was telling you guys about. Um, so it should have really nice parquet flooring throughout, which is probably why it's expensive. Um, and then after we've done the first three, we got a little break for lunch and then we head over to the town that's a bit further away that um, I guess is less de desirable town, but where you get more for your money. And... Um, We've got, yeah, we've got four viewings there. Um, a couple of them are above a shop and we haven't decided how we feel about that yet. I know in terms of investment and reselling and getting things like insurance and stuff, it's a lot harder because obviously if you're above a laundrette or a restaurant, there's a bigger um, probability of fire. So that affects your insurance costs and things like that. Um, but if it's really good, then you have to ask yourself whether it's worth that extra money and stuff so we will see so it didn't end up having the parquet flooring as such but it did have some nice wood flooring it was a really nice flat but it, it, again it just didn't feel like it was the one for us we've had lunch and we're <laughs> we're just off out on our next batch of viewing so we've got four in a row now i'm feeling a little bit stressed today i don't know whether it's just my hormones because it is time of the month <laughs> or, um, or whether it, I don't know it's just I just feel a little bit deflated by um, the viewing experience because I saw one this morning that when I organized the viewing I pretty much had written off just because the location was poor and I thought oh, I won't even like it it's just kind of a filler one shall we say and I went to it and I've really liked it like as a flat in itself I really loved it it's like a massive master bedroom it had two bathrooms both with baths and both really roomy and a really cute living space it was just the second bedroom was a bit um, small but the location is still pretty much a deal breaker and it's just so it just starts to be so frustrating when you find perfect places but they're in completely the wrong um, locations and then you find perfect locations and the buildings aren't right but I think that is just a frustration you're gonna have when you are looking for a property in the most expensive place in the UK but your budget is the smallest you could possibly have so that is just the reality of it and we've just got to get real basically and just remember that this is the first home it's not going to be perfect going to be far from perfect and that's okay we're still going to get the independence and the privacy we've been craving and that's enough to make us more happy than we are right now so that's what we've got to focus on and um, yeah just persevere I guess just try and stay positive and keep going you never know we might find an absolute gem in the next hour and then I'll be speaking to you then on a in quite a different mood, so catch up with you soon.